this current sensor um, I've got the one with the uh, basically the fly leads on it um, but the leads aren't long enough so what I've got to do is I've got to dismantle this and I've got to take those leads off and put longer leads on it uh, the first thing you do is basically split it down there and then you have to dismantle it somehow I've done two of these before actually and extended the leads on it it's not easy not for the faint hearted but I'll try and do it now and show you I've got the casing off um, I had to cut it in the end it wouldn't come off there's this uh, double sided pad on the back of it which actually goes onto the heat sink so what I've got to do is on you can't really see this there's a triple Arduino header uh, on this side and there's a double on that side so I've got to get that top piece off now this thing is a massive ground plane so you have to apply a hell of a lot of heat I've also got to get this um, metal can off uh, which isn't very easy now the other option you've got is to take these wires off and actually solder them onto the top you know it's no hardship here are the three parts so you've got the current sensor you've got the regulator board I think it's just a regulator board anyway and you've got the can that goes over the top so that goes on there and then that goes on there like that so I've already taken two wires off so we've just got to take the other two off now I'll warn you if you haven't had a lot of experience with soldering don't even attempt to take that off because you will break it there's so many so many small components on there very very close to the edge see how close I can get with this camera and you can see that the two pins nearest to me where are we these two pins here that one is actually the ground plane by the looks of it and the resistors are right next to it so you have to keep the heat to an absolute minimum um, but getting it off is an absolute nightmare and that's got on it focus so there you go so I've just got to I've got to clean those two top holes out and then I can put it all back together again I soldered the headers on I soldered the fly leads on which are actually uh, three foot long can't be too careful and I'm hoping there's going to be um, no shorts whatsoever so I'll just solder that back together and then away we go amongst all this wiring there's the current sensor and also the voltage regulator I've got it plugged back in the vector and it is flashing away merrily and I do have an on-screen display so I know it works